Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl TV and you know we had to do it. We're back with another one. Who are we talking about today? Today we're talking about the 76ers and the Knicks and the Lakers and the Nuggets. First things first, since we've been talking about the East, let's head that way, give you a recap, a showdown of the rundown. You know how we get down. So let's just dive into it, get into some stats, talk about the game. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. First things first, 76ers, they came hot. They was ready to play, and they won the game. Now, the series is 2-1. to one. They end up winning 125-114. to 114. So, big ups to Philly for doing y'all. Big one playing an amazing job, being back at home. Although, there was a lot of Knicks fans in the crowd. Like, what is going on? Like, why are y'all chanting, let's go Knicks in Philadelphia? Where are the Philly fans at? They had Allen Iverson there, like, you know, putting on for 76ers, and I love to see that. But let's just dive into the game, tell y'all how everything went, and just go from there. First thing first, I guess we're going to head it over and talk about the Knicks first, and that's going to be Bronson. He came hot, came out hot. He was on top, and he could not be stopped. Yes, that's right. He ended up having 39 points. 13 assists, getting him a nice little double-double, doing his big one, really carrying the team. Um, I feel like he's really, like, stepped up to the plate ever since they don't have Randall as of right now. And it's just really been working for him. So I don't know what this series holds. It's just like, whew, is the 76ers going to win or is the Knicks going to win? I really don't know. I know who I want to win, but I don't want to be biased and say that <laughs> but anyways that's really what i had for bronson like i said he did an amazing job played great minutes played great offense great defense great ball movement watch the court up and down both ends of the court and it's just like that's that's what basketball is about really seeing what's going on not just within yourself and then the next person we're going to talk about that's going to be josh hart he ended up having 20 points six rebounds and six assists last night Obviously, it was not enough for the win, but what I love about Hart is he really has stepped up to the plate when it comes to, like, playing with the Knicks. Like, I feel he's the next person in the line after Bronson because it's like, okay, we know Bronson. He's going to do his thing regardless. But then it's like next in line you have Hart because I feel like he was the last person. I mean, in the last game, I talked about him as well. So it's like that just shows you how he's playing what he's capable of, and then it's like when the opportunity is given, go ahead and take it, do your big one, show them who's boss, show them what you got on the court, and I love that for you. So it's like big us to you for doing your thing was not enough for the win, but that's okay. It wasn't even like, okay, so with this game, it wasn't like a blowout type of game. It was really a back and forth type of game. Um, it was just crazy. The crowd was just crazy to me. Like, just chanting the Knicks in Philly was like, kind of threw me off. But anyways, we're going to head it over and we're going to talk about the 76ers. And y'all already know who I'm about to talk about. I talk about these same two people every single time for the 76ers. And that's going to be MB going off for a 50-piece last night. He had eight rebounds. And the thing about MB, what I love is his drive, his charisma. He's doing all this with Bell Palsy. He's doing all this with a knee brace on. So that just shows you his level of commitment that he wants to win. Even after game two loss, he was like, we gonna win this series. And I feel like they are. Like if you, when you switch your mindset and you put it in your mind, like this was about to happen. Like it really can happen. It's just all about you. Everything is all about perspective and the way that you want to move, like, in life. And I just feel like that's what MB is doing. And it's just like he was high. He had a big third quarter. He had 18 points in the third quarter. So that just shows you how he was rocking. And even with him having 18 points in the third quarter, the whole 76ers just had a big third quarter and all, like, just in general. They end up having 43 points and the four, I mean, not the fourth quarter, the third quarter. And it's like, dang, like y'all came hot. Y'all came ready to play. And y'all was like, we in Philly and it's time to win. So let's just do that. And that's what happened. And I love that for them. And then the thing about it is like NB shot, he had 21 free throws attempts. So it's like that already show y'all like they was trying to hack him, do anything to stop this man. And he could not be stopped. That's just how he's playing. I'm super excited that he's back. Um, and I love 
love that for him. It's just like, I just love like the aggression, just him being aggressive, his energy, just high energy, and just him like, I'm finna play regardless of what I have going on with my face, with my knee, with my body, like all of this physical stuff that's going on with me. And it's like, it's not taking me out. Like I'm still coming out on top. And it's just like that mental and to have that mindset is literally everything. Thing. And I love that for you, MB. And then the next person who I always talk about too is going to be Tyrese Maxey. He ended up finishing. He had 25 points, 7 assists, having a nice little cool game. Y'all know he has better games before. He done hit a 50 piece before, but I still feel like he played a great game last night. Y'all already know when I talk about Tyrese Maxey, I tell y'all I love his hustle the way he plays his ambition he's not scared he's gonna draw the ball he's gonna play great defense he's gonna do what he needs to do to carry the 76ers and be like okay we gotta win this game we gotta come up on top and he did just that last night and it's like I love that so combined for MB and Maxi they had a total of 75 points with just them two so that just shows you like I love that duo like in so many words I feel like they're I don't want to call them the number one duo in the NBA right now, but I really feel like they definitely like top three when it comes to like who got the best duo in the NBA. They up there. Like they be doing their thing. I would say it's them. I would for sure say it's Luca and Kyrie. Oh, and I don't even see like they up there and I don't even know who else I would put. Like who else is part of this duo that just really be rocking. But for sure, they in the top. They up there. Both of those um people, both of those duos. But y'all, that's really what I had. All I had for the 76ers game. So now we're just gonna head it over and talk about the upset loss when it comes to the Lakers. Yes, Denver took it last night, 112 to 105. Five. And the crazy part about it, I feel like the Lakers had the game. They had the game. They was not losing. They was not trailing by a lot. They even had the lead most of the game. And it was like for y'all to let Denver come back in the second half and do y'all dirty the way that they did y'all. Like at one point in time, they was leading with over 10 points. And it's like, how did y'all let this happen? Like there's no way in heck. I should, <laughs> no way in heck like they should have won there's no way that this series should even be three and oh even like how game two went like y'all had it even in game two and then it's like game three coming it's like the same type of situation it's like what are y'all gonna do what are you gonna change for game four that's gonna happen this weekend like y'all gotta bring it because if not it's going to be another sweet, another repeat of last season. I, man, I really hope that doesn't happen. I really hope the Lakers, I'm not going to say just win a series, but at least win one game. Y'all get what I'm saying? And they got to win this last game. They got to win the next game in order to stay alive, stay afloat. Like, what's going on? And the cold part about it, y'all, the cold part about it, Denver, they was hot. Like, regardless of them being down some of the game, it was like, why... Like, three out of five of the starters all had double-doubles. And it wasn't just, like, no little bitty double-doubles. We had Gordon. We had Aaron Gordon. We had Michael Porter Jr. And then, we, of course, we had Nikola Jokic all having a double-double. Like, three out of the five starters is playing like this. So, let's just dive into the stats and tell y'all some of those double-doubles. The first person I want to talk about is going to be Aaron Gordon. We got to give him player of the game last night. He had 29 points, and this man had 15 rebounds. It wasn't like, okay, I'm going to just have a little 10 or 20 points. No, like 29, 15. Like, that's how his stats was rocking last night. He was definitely in his bag, doing an amazing job. And it's just like, when I talk about Denver, the energy that they bring, how fast-paced they are as a team, how they play. I feel like they play every single game like it's a championship game. I said this once before, and it's like, it's they never proved me wrong. Like, this is literally how they play every game and it's like what the heck Lakers y'all gotta be ready y'all have to have like the tenacity like y'all know how Denver is coming y'all know what they bring in y'all know the defense y'all know the offense y'all know the players like so y'all have to like really turn it up and be like we have to be one step ahead this is chess this is not checkers you know what I'm saying like I feel like that's how the Lakers have to play they started off super strong 
but it's just like it did not end that way and then the next person i'm gonna talk about y'all already know who it's gonna be the joker nikola Jokic, doing his big one having 24 points he had 15 rebounds as well and then he had nine assists he almost finished with a triple double y'all know how he get down but it's like this is not even like surprising <laughs> when it comes to the nuggets and that was making me think like are they gonna have a back-to-back -back? like Oh, no, back to back rings, back to back, like Drake say. I, I don't know. But y'all, that's what I had for um Denver. Cause it was just like, dang, like, y'all did y'all big one. Gotta give y'all that. So now we just gonna head it over to LA. Talk about AD. He's gonna be the first person on the Lakers. And I talk about these same two people because it's like these are literally the only people that's carrying the team. And that's gonna be AD, he had 33 points last night. Dang, he had 15 rebounds as well. Everybody had 15 <laughs> rebounds. But it was like him playing great defense, y'all. Like him and LeBron, I know they are tired. It's like other players have to step up. I do got to give it up to Austin Reeves because he did a good job. So I think he had 22 points last night. Don't quote me on that if I'm not mistaken. But it's like he was in his bag. But Austin Reed is definitely like an asset to the Lakers. He knows when to step up. He knows when to shine. He knows sometimes I feel like he do dim his light. And it's like, uh-uh. Like, pop your ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them know who you are and why you are a Laker, pretty much. And then the next person y'all already know who I'm going to talk about. That's going to be King James, LeBron James, of course. No surprise. He ended up finishing. He had 26 points, 6 rebounds, and 9 assists last night. Just not enough or the win when it comes to Denver. And it's just like, you could just tell the frustration like on their face from like after that loss because it's like there's no way like in LA that we lost and then it was crazy because it's like even the crowd like they left before the game was over and it's just like it's just upsetting it's like what y'all gonna do how y'all come in next game are y'all winning next game are y'all staying back in LA because y'all already there we don't know we gonna see I know I'm going to be watching the game like you. But anyways, y'all, that's really all I had. It is Friday, so happy Friday. We have made it to the weekend. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I need y'all to be productive. I was productive, so go ahead and do the same in return. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you all can be alerted when who posts, when TV posts. Once again, I'm TB. Peace out. Bye. Bye.